study of prayer and the prayer of the church. Let's turn today to the person, the person of Jesus. I have this beautiful picture, I love it. A picture of Jesus at prayer. And on this picture, his head is bowed, he looks deep in contemplation, he has a very serious look on his face. Surely his prayer is coming from the depths of his heart. When did Jesus pray? He prayed in the morning, he prayed in the evening, he also prayed as a Jew, he prayed many times during the day. I read a book once called The Jewish Jesus and it was very enlightening. I learned that the Jewish people had many, many blessing prayers that they prayed. So for example, as soon as Jesus opened his eyes in the morning, he would have said a prayer of blessing or praise to God. Before he sat down to do his actual meditating on the Word of God, he would have said a blessing. When he ate a meal, blessing prayers were said, not over the food in general, but over each kind of food. A blessing prayer for bread, a blessing prayer for wine, a blessing prayer for vegetables, a blessing prayer for meat or fish, and so on. As Jesus walked down the road, if he saw a field ready for harvest, he would have said a blessing. If he saw a friend, he would say a blessing prayer. If he met a stranger, he would say a different blessing prayer. Also, at the entrance to his home would have been a little box called a mezuzah. And inside of it would have been a little scroll. And as a child, he would learn to take out that scroll and read it. And by the time he was an adult, he would have it memorized. And each time he went in or out of the house, he would take the scroll out and read it or touch the box and say it. And what he said was, the heart of what he said was, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and soul and mind and strength. Imagine the times a little boy goes in and out of the house during the course of a day. Do you think by the time Jesus grew up, he knew he should love God with his whole being, and no doubt he felt, no doubt at all, he felt, I do love God with my whole being, and God is the center of my life. Jesus prayed as an adult before performing a miracle. So we hear him praying, for example, at the tomb of Lazarus. Jesus prayed after performing a miracle. After the feeding of the loaves and the fish, he takes off and he goes alone to pray for an extended period of time. Jesus also prayed for an extended period of time at the beginning of his public ministry. As soon as he is baptized, he goes to the desert, which was not at all far away from the Jordan River, and he goes there and he spends 40 days in prayer. He makes his own retreat. And he finds out, he discovers the kinds of temptations he's going to have to deal with as he goes about his public ministry. What did Jesus pray for? Much of the time he is praying in one way or another to do the Father's will, to do what God wants him to do. And so before he chooses his 12 apostles, he spends the whole night in prayer, discerning who are the people that would best fit with my ministry. Who are the people my Father would want me to choose? He also prays the night before he dies in the garden, Father, not my will, but yours be done. And the Father's will was ultimately, ultimately that Jesus' disciples would imitate the love 
that exists in the Trinity. Ultimately, what the Father wanted, what Jesus prayed for, is that his community of disciples would imitate the love that exists in the Trinity and draw all people then, all the people of the world, to experience that kind of love. How did Jesus pray? His prayer was continually about the kingdom, the Father's will being done so that the kingdom to, could come. Jesus is not praying for himself exactly. He's not praying that he be satisfied, but that the Father be satisfied, that the Father be glorified through the work that Jesus does. So how does Jesus tell us we should pray? Well, there's one specific thing that I would like to mention. Jesus says, go to your room, shut the door, and pray to your Father in secret. And when we pray in secret, our hearts really become open. We open ourselves completely to what we want to say to God and we open ourselves to hearing what God would say to us.